Good morning. Today is uh, sunny and I talked I changed place, not in the kitchen. <laughs> it's still really familiar. I'm just drinking my morning tea and I was thinking what could be really interesting or what I find really interesting during uh, the transition. And mostly when I started. I have mentioned I am a really isolated area, so I have met here accidentally with uh, Tanshan, that's why we were on transition, but uh, because of art, uh, with, on exhibitions, and they was absolutely hidden, so they told me, because I made art paintings about this identity, uh, where I try to show how I see myself and how other people see me, and uh, they of course recognize the topic really easily and then they started to talk with me about their experiences and they mostly did outside the country. So they travel outside, they uh, lived uh, outside for, I mean in another country, <laughs> not outside, but it's <laughs> not, not the middle of the world. And Anyway, uh, and they come back with the new identity, so they didn't take the risk uh, to show for the community uh, how they change and, and be uh, uh, in public during the process. But uh, officially, who makes here this process uh, is me, the first one. <laughs> it's not always good to be the first. And that's why I have a really enthusiastic and helpful uh, psychiatrist, but uh, he only knew uh, what he could achieve on the internet in, in German. We were talking in German, and the most of my question was really private, and uh, you have to know here the, to talking about this kind of things, it's really uh, not, it's, it's a taboo. And one, my, one of my questions was, uh, <clears throat> yeah, uh, what I can wait from the hormone, I mean, I had the idea my body will change, but uh, I had no idea really what I should expect. And uh, one of my biggest questions was, <laughs> how I can have work as well? Uh, of course, poor guy uh, by theater had no idea what he should say for he also not really could have with me uh, like um, personal relationship advices or uh, simply uh, put me in any kind of direction uh, simply because he was an experience he was not the problem he was not open-minded it was a problem uh, he had no experience here in City Hall. Somehow the feminism has a great uh, tradition, which is great. And because of this, or but surely because of this, uh, to be from female to male, it's uh, pretty accepted. It's um, well known. Uh, I also was once in a concert. Um, here in a beautiful castle with a garden, with the LP concert, the Canadian singer and the songwriter. And it was full of lesbian couple, which was fantastic. And was no problem, of course. Uh, <coughs> but gay couple I have, no, I have not seen. I mean, men. So it's really not in the equal way to judge by the society. And... I mix again a big turn around. <laughs> it's like me. Uh, yeah, so it was a huge question in me, and um, actually, I get answer when I started the process. I consider it one this orgasm pro problem uh, for me. Sexuality always was a really big part of my personality. Also, if my last relationship was exactly on this path, uh, absence. And after 
this break because uh, I really wanted this uh, <coughs> relationship to work. I had three years uh, stop. I really was not looking for anyone. I just looked inside me, you know, and tried to find answers for why it couldn't happen what I wanted. But uh, still, in my personality is really important sexuality. I guess it's um, for for me it was always normal, uh, and I was always wondering about. Um, cultures where they really try to hide, you know, you are not only a mental or uh, atmospheric uh, creature of God, uh, you are a uh, natural, you are uh, a creature of nature and, and it's part of, that's, for me it's absolutely natural, but yeah, we meet with so many kind of uh, way of living, which is not mean it's better or worse, I, for me was surprising. And uh, I was always talking about that also openly, uh, without uh, really censorship. Uh, of course, I try to use uh, in the right way to describe my thoughts, uh, but uh, it's a main part of my my life. So that was one of my biggest consideration how it can be because that's when I was looking for if I makes the <coughs> gender reassignment operation or what they call uh, is it can be satisfaction um, and I have read and you know my information sources was really limited but I try to share what I find out um, if the operation is successful it's a difficult operation because it's so many nerves there uh, still problematic uh, satisfactory uh, sexual life because the size is limited. I mean your partner size cannot be big like you know gay people. You know I, 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 most of my life I was part of the gay community so let me say uh, we prefer <laughs> bigger. <laughs> size is not important but uh, that's limits, like with everything. And uh, I talked, it's in a way, it's funny to choose a partner about the size of his penis, because for me, the intelligence and kindness and, and uh, mentality, I mean, the attitude, how they handle the other people was always more important than the size of the <laughs> penis. <laughs> Let's go. Let's say it out. <laughs> And uh, on the other hand, um, yeah, it can stimulate you, but it cannot bring you that kind of organ or I, that's what, that's what I'm thinking, like a woman has. So I was, I have read also to find a really good surgeon, it's uh, really hard and mostly here, you know, I'm the first one. And I don't speak Italian, so for me to go to Italy, um, to search for a good surgeon is really hard. My house doctor, <laughs> when the first time I was there to ask me, ask him to write the prescription table to go to the endocrinologist, tell me he has a schoolmate who makes this kind of surgery. He's on the uh, in front of the judge now because of this, but he is good. I had after that opinion about my <laughs> house doctor and also there was a question like uh, if I already had the operation and I, I'm just saying I asked the prescription from the endocrinologist so yeah poor guy has no idea about these kind of things <laughs> and uh, yeah the other consideration going back but I was really thinking on before I started the hormone therapy let's say because this was the second step is uh, my health uh, I'm always was a kind of freak uh, who really cared about to be healthy it has practical reason um, maybe it's not since but I am uh, not a really 
that guy and or woman sorry <laughs> and what happened now <laughs>